Hello everyone. I'm going to start the session because it's due to start at 10 past and it just roll up the 10 past. So uh, welcome to Managing a Thesis with Word. Uh, I'm assuming you're all writing a thesis and that's why you're here. My name is Bridget and um, I normally train staff so this is a real opportunity for me to come out and meet some students which is fantastic. Uh, at the back you have my colleague Helen who normally does these sessions but uh, she didn't want to do it so she made me do it. So this is my first time with a big audience. Normally I teach classes of about eight. So um, anyway, if I do anything wrong, do tell me. And if you have any questions, please do ask them. Um, today's session, uh, basically we're going to be outlining things to you, features of Word that you may not be aware that you can use for your writing your thesis that will make things a lot easier for you. Um, this is not a training session as such because obviously you're not sitting in front of a computer, you're just watching me and listening to me. So uh, do ask questions, but we'll be basically demonstrating the features that you will be able to use. Um, so some of the features that we're going to be doing is using styles. Who in this room here has heard of styles before or has used them? Okay, that's, a, that's about 50% of the room, the way I look at it. So um, if you have, um, Hopefully you will still gain something out of this, but one of the key things for using styles, I'll tell you as we go along, I just realised it. I'm not going to tell you about it yet, but exciting things are the styles. Um, we're also going to have a look at document outline, um, creating a table of contents. If any of you have ever typed a table of contents by hand, then you're going to really hate me after this because <laughs> you're going to see that you can create a table of contents in about one second, if you've used styles. Um, we'll also have a look at uh, inserting and managing graphics and that's basically because don't, doesn't Word always mess around with your graphics and do weird things, right? Uh, it's not a desktop publishing program so that's why it acts weird sometimes. Um, also have a look at ca captions uh, which again will create a lot of automation for you. Um, we'll have a look at cross-referencing. Um, that's where you might say see the table on page 15 and um, that's a really useful feature because you can that again can uh, automate your document when the table moves to another page it can update <coughs> automatically. We we'll also have a look at section breaks these are really really important in particular in terms of changing the page orientation so you might be going along quite happily in portrait suddenly you want landscape um, section breaks allow you to do that section breaks also allow you to create uh, Arabic numbering and Roman numerals at different parts of your documents as you may wish to have so you need to know about that. Uh, then we'll have a look at if you have created all these different chapters perhaps different documents of the chapters how do you put it all together without word having a conniption. Um, and finally really finally it is headers and footers which are very problematic and you really should um, use the, do this last because basically then you've got everything in place and you want and you know what you want it to look like. So we may or may not cover footnotes and endnotes and when we get to that part I'll ask you whether you're interested in this. That is not endnote the bibliographic software that you may be using. Hopefully you are all using that. That is fantastic and works really well with Word, but that's not what we're covering today. 